There's, there's no reason to make this complicated. Supposedly one time Mark Twain said, uh, everything is common sense. The problem, the problem is that common sense is not common. You know, there's been a lot written on this, and there's an awful lot of people that talk about it, but are there a couple of fundamental principles that really drive somebody that really is a great leader? Leadership really is something that no matter how good you are, you can get better each and every day. And at the end of the day, I think you could actually boil it down to what I call these four principles of leadership. The first one, self-reflection. You know, we're all running around, you know, we've all got blackberries, blueberries, cell phones, we've got all this stuff, we're in constant motion. But to actually take the time and step back and ask yourself, what really matters, right? What are my values? What are my goals? If I'm not self-reflective, is it possible for me to know myself? If I don't know myself, how can I lead myself? If I can't lead myself, how can I lead other people? Good morning, everybody. All right, all right, thank you. And when I think about balance, I look and say to myself, what a really good leader does is take the time to understand all sides of the issue, not just their perspective. It, it isn't about being right, it's about doing the right thing. I have virtually no answers I have many, many opinions. And anybody that's worked for anybody knows there's a lot of people out there who can act very self-confident, very self-confident, who have no self-confidence at all. Do you really have true self-confidence? Have you been able to say to yourself, you know what, honestly, there's a lot of people that are brighter than I am, more athletic than I am, you name it, but I'm okay. I know what I know, I know what I don't know, Every day I'm given, I can be better than the day before. The fourth principle of value-based leadership, I think of as genuine humility. We've worked hard, um, we've got certain skill sets, but uh, we don't forget two other things. One is luck, and the other is timing. You realize that everybody matters. And to a certain degree, if you don't forget where you came from, it's much easier to keep a balanced perspective. I, I just met with Nick. I would like to think that the four principles of value-based leadership can have an impact on people around the world who really would like to have a few tools that could actually get them individually to step up to start to make a difference.